So in this video, I'm going to talk about all of the supplies that you have picked up in your kit. Um, normally, we try to supply you with as many free materials as we can. We get a lot of donations from partners that we have, companies that we've used to work for, um, friends we have that are still in the industry and are getting rid of uh, last year's fabric um, or they're clearing out their fabric stash and we get a lot of donations. And so we make that fabric available to you and we um, also use it as a fundraiser for our Fashion Network Club. Uh, this semester, we're trying to be um, as resourceful as possible. We know it's hard to come up with materials right now, so um, we've put this kit together for you. And so I'm um, just gonna go through everything that's in your kit. So everybody is getting a stack of papers, and the first stack of paper in your kit that you'll find is going to be for creating a swatch card of fabric. So there's gonna be a little baggie with all of these fabric swatches. And what you're gonna do is take each fabric swatch out and you'll mount it on here. Um, and so I'll start here with this first swatch. This is 100% woven cotton sheeting. And this is a fabric quality that you're gonna be using for your first three projects. So uh, our first project is going to be a mask. And so here I have two samples. Um, using woven cotton sheeting. And then our second project we're gonna work on is our apron. And so this also uses 100% cotton woven sheeting. And then our third project, which is this pajama pant, you can also use woven cotton sheeting or um, these are actually made out of flannel, which is a brushed fabric. It's more kind of uh, associated with fall and winter. It's cozier, um, that brushed feeling. Um, makes it a little warmer um, of a hand feel. Um, this fabric swatch is um, has a really nice finish on it. Um, so you'll notice the difference between this woven cotton sheeting and those of you that maybe chose the Madras plaid for your pajama pants. This is um, has a little bit of a rougher uh, hand feel because the yarn size is a little bit bigger and it's also a um, yarn dye plaid whereas this is printed so you're gonna have a little bit of a different hand feel in these fabrics if it's um, you have to think about the fiber type the yarn size the construction the finishing things like that so that's the woven cotton sheeting that you're gonna use for the mask the apron and then the pajama pant um, the next swatch here is 100% cotton uh, yarn dye plaid. So this is a flannel um, and it is uh, also yarn dye like your Madras plaid if you chose that. Um, your next swatch is a poly cotton printed jersey. So these two swatches are actually both jersey. Uh, this poly cotton, we've provided enough yardage in your kit for you to make your t-shirt. So you'll find three yards of this fabric in your kit and the stripes do go vertical on this and um, this the reason we provided everybody with this fabric is because it's a very easy knit to sew with um, a lot of times students will go into Joann's because Joann's is um, there's two of them close in the to Long Beach City College within like a five mile radius I think and Joann's also accepts returns if you um, come into class with the wrong fabric which often happens with jersey knits because for some reason uh, a lot of students go to Joann's and they ask for jersey and somehow the uh, the workers um, end up giving students trico or interlock or um, some other type of fabric that is not jersey. So that's why we wanted to give you some swatches and then also provide you with some fabric if you would like to use it. Um, it's very forgiving. Knits are trickier to sew than woven. So this is a great fabric to start with for your first knit. Um, here you can see we have some samples. Um, this is the fitted um, t-shirt for those of you that are gonna be making the fitted t-shirt. Um, this fabric here uh, is a 100% linen jersey. So you can see it has a little bit more texture um, and it's also kind of feels like a little more like a sweater knit. Um, so this is 100% cotton uh, jersey knit, just so you can see the difference between the two fabrics, the hand feel, um, uh, uh, sorry, a print versus a solid. Um, the next two swatches in your kit are rib. So rib is typically used on the neckband of a t-shirt or the waistband on a sweatshirt or the cuffs on a rib is really stretchy. And 
Uh, this is a 2x2 uh, rib, and so what that means is there's two rows of knit and then two rows of purl, and then two rows of knit and then two rows of purl, and that's what gives it the stretch. Whereas this green swatch is a one by one knit. Um, so that's one row of uh, purl, one row of knit, and so on. Um, and then we've left two uh, blank swatches in case you want to mount some uh, of the fabrics that you've purchased and label them. Um, you can also mount some things on the back. Um, and so that is what will be coming in your kit. So you'll have your fabric swatches and uh, you'll want to use your scotch tape to mount everything here for your reference. Um, next in the kit, so I talked about the modest plaid if you've ordered that from us and then everyone's getting the jersey. Also in your kit, you're going to have a bag here with some trim. So our first uh, project that we're going to be working on is the mask. And so we've provided you with some spaghetti ties. So this is actually swimwear fabric that um, a con sewing contractor uh, made a bunch of spaghetti ties. And so um, it's really stretchy and it's kind of more comfortable than elastic like I have here on my mask. So we've given you some spaghetti ties that you can use and um, we'll walk you through that process. Um, so make sure to hold on to those. Um, we also are giving you some uh, interfacing. You're going to use this for your apron project. And then there's also uh, two different types of rib for your um, t-shirt. Some of you might be able to get two t-shirts out of this three yards. Depends on the size of the t-shirt that you're making. Um, so here's some rib for you that you can use. You can either use a, a matching rib or if you want to do a contrast rib. And so that is going to be for the neckline here. Um, and so we'll walk you through that when we get to the t-shirt. Also in your kit, you're gonna have a zipper. Uh, this is going to be for our very last project, which is um, a zippered pouch. So uh, here we have a little zippered pouch. And so we'll be sending you um, with this zipper. And then we're also gonna throw in a little stack of fabric. Everyone's gonna get a, a different combination of fabrics here. And so these fabrics can be used for your zippered pouch. Um, you could also use leftover fabric from your apron, leftover fabric from your pajamas if you have it. Um, but we also wanted to give you some options um, with some swatches you could use for your mask or uh, for the, um, the pouch here. So that's everything in terms of the fabric that will be in your kit. Uh, next, I want to talk about the handouts that are going to be in your kit. So first we have uh, the inch. This is a very, very close up view of what an inch looks like and it is breaking it down all the way into a sixteenth of an inch. In this class, we're going to be dealing with a lot of measurements. All of our bodies are different shapes and sizes, and so understanding measurements and fractions is really important. Um, so we've, as Pam mentioned, uh, we've created a ruler quiz for you just to kind of see where you're at with your ruler reading skills, and this is something you can um, refer to. Uh, we've also included a measurement chart for you. Uh, maybe you took your measurements and watched those videos in the survey that we sent out um, when we asked your t-shirt size. Uh, this is a place where you can record your measurements. And then you can also uh, refer to this how to measure guide in paper form uh, that goes into um, some more measurements. We really only deal with basic measurements in FD24. As you get into FD25, intermediate, FD26, advanced, and your design classes, you're going to need to take more measurements from your body because you're going to be working on garments that are more fitted, more detailed, so you need to have uh, more accurate measurements down to the sixteenth of an inch um, when you're dealing with swimwear and lingerie, things like that. Um, your very first project that we're going to work on is the mask. So here we've provided you with a pattern. There's two different sizes, mask sizes on here. There is a uh, man or woman, which is a little larger, and then there's a smaller adult or teen. So um, this is your paper pattern, and we'll go over how to cut this out in another video. Uh, also, uh, your next project after the uh, mask is going to be this apron. So we have some samples here. Uh, the, this is the apron sewing instructions, the layout for how to cut the fabric, and then also the paper patterns. Hang on to this. Uh, don't dive in and start cutting everything out. Wait until we talk about the layout and cutting in the video because um, we don't want to cut out the fabric in the wrong direction. There's a lot of little nuances that we want to remember. So hang on to this until we get to the apron. Um, 
talking about the fabric for the apron, so you are gonna pick out a woven cotton sheeting and you need two different fabrics. And I like to think about them in terms of, um, are they friends? So uh, would they go to a party together? Would they hang out together? So here you can see um, we kind of have a pink brown combo and then on this apron, kind of more um, uh, green and browns. So they work together. Uh, here I went into my fabric stash and I'm gonna go kind of with a, a retro orange and yellow vibe. These are actually some of my favorite colors, so I have a lot of this in my stash. Um, if you are struggling with picking out fabrics, you can go to Sovac, and we've actually worked with them and picked out some fabrics for you. So you can go in and ask them for the Long Beach City College um, fabrics that we've selected, and I'll actually insert the uh, pictures of those fabrics here. So if you go to Sovac, you can choose those fabrics, or you can also shop in their store, pick out other fabrics. You can also go to Joann's, things like that. Uh, we're just trying to provide you as many options um, so you can make something that you'll enjoy. Uh, also, you'll be getting the paper pattern for the pajama bottom, and um, it also has the long sleeve t-shirt. So this is kind of a two-in-one. Um, we did run out of these patterns so some of you may have a slightly different looking uh, pattern for the pajama pant but don't worry it's gonna be the the same kind of um what's that the shirt. oh yeah the shirt will be different in that pattern um so those of you that have ordered uh, asked for the short sleeve pattern you'll be getting that pajama pant so that those of you that want the uh, long sleeve t-shirt you'll be getting this pattern um, and the pajama pant and the t-shirt are kind of uh, gender neutral, very oversized, very relaxed, so anybody can wear them. Um, this, is kind of, this is what they look like, so very, very easy. Um, you're going to need three yards of fabric, and so this is, again, gonna be woven cotton sheeting, or I hear I've chosen this uh, flannel. I'm gonna do my pajamas out of this flannel. Um, so, You'll need three yards of that, or you'll be using your Madras plaid if you've selected the Madras plaid. And then moving on to the knit t-shirt. Um, if you are doing the relaxed t-shirt, you'll, um, you'll wanna save all of your pattern pieces as we go because your t-shirt is also in here for the long sleeve relaxed t-shirt. If you've chosen the short sleeve t-shirt, you're getting a little packet here, depending on your size. So if you are an extra small, small or medium, it's all gonna be in this packet. Um, and then if you're a medium large, extra large, extra, extra large, it'll be in this packet. Don't start cutting these out um, until we do the video because we will walk you through how to line everything up and put the pattern pieces together. So hang on to that. Um, so that's everything that's gonna be in your kit when you uh, pick all of this up. So keep it in a safe spot uh, so it does, pieces don't disappear and run away from you. Um, the last thing that I want to talk about that I haven't mentioned yet is um, you do need to, I, Pam mentioned in a previous video, you do need to have either uh, solid cotton sheeting um, or muslin. So muslin is 100% cotton uh, and it's an unfinished fabric. So it hasn't been bleached, it hasn't, the fibers haven't been processed so that it's completely um, clean and uh, free uh, and free of natural debris um, from the cotton plant. So this is just a pretty cheap fabric. You can get it for about $1.99 to $5.99 a yard and um, you only really need a half of a yard. So you can go with either a solid cotton sheeting or you can go with muslin. And what we're gonna be using this for is when we first start threading our sewing machine, uh, maybe some of you are familiar with your machine and you already know how to use it. Maybe some of you have borrowed a machine or pulled it out of um, the garage or some out of storage and you haven't used it in a while. You're gonna to wanna to have some fabric to test. Um, and especially those of you that have checked out a brand new sewing machine from us, um, you're gonna to wanna to learn how to use it. So we're gonna be doing some swatches for practice and you're gonna be working on these. Um, actually, before we start our mask project, you're gonna work on these and we're going to, um, you'll turn these in. Uh, so here, the first swatch uh, sample that you're gonna do is playing around with